Hi, welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to learn about control flow statements. Let us see what does this control flow statements. Control flow statements or the activities and the methods used to define the decisions to be made during the execution of a workflow. While developing an automation using UiPath Studio, to perform some business logics, to write some business logics, we need to control the flow of the execution using some activities or methods. So these together call as control flow statements. Let us see what and all activities or what and all methods comes under control flow statements in UiPath Studio. We have if activity, while activity, do while, for each, switch, parallel. So we have these many control flow statements. Let us see in detail about each of these. First, if statement. If you are a software developer, you can already guess what is this if statement. It is similar to other technologies. So in other technologies, say Java or C, we used to have a condition based workflow. So based on the condition, if we want to decide what will be the next step, we will be going to use this if statement. The condition that is true or false. So based on the condition, the output of the condition, if activity will decide to which branch it is supposed to flow. So if the condition is true, then the branch, whatever the set of actions in the then branch will be executed. If the condition is false, else branch will get executed. Clear? Let us see a sample to understand more about this if condition. Say for example, if you are writing a business logic where the sender send uh, from address of an email belongs to a person, you want to move that particular email to a folder. In such scenario, your condition is from address is equals to your email ID. If that condition met, move that email to a folder. So in then branch, you are going to write the code to move. You are going to use the move mail activity to move the email from inbox to a specific folder. Else branch, maybe you are doing nothing, just quit with a log message. So this is one example, a general real-time example where you are going to use if statement. Let's move on to the next one. Loops. We have while loop, do while, for each loops in UiPath. So let us see what does this while. It executes a specific sequence while a condition is met. The condition is evaluated before each execution of the statements. Example, if a robo has to run a job at a specific time, it has to meet the condition of the specific time. So, when we are going to use this while activity, we should be very specific about the condition. 
so when there is a scenario where you have to execute you have to make bot to execute a set of activities if the condition is met let me repeat this a set of activities needs to be performed only if the condition is met in such scenario while loop can be used so i'm going to give time as input to a robo so every time when i whenever i give the current time or whenever i give i pass time to the robo it is supposed to check the condition with the con with the time whatever it is uh, provided in the condition if that time meets the condition i mean to say if the condition is satisfied then it enters into the while loop and that set of activities will be performed in that case else it will not do anything let us move on to do while it executes a specific sequence while a condition is met the condition is evaluated after each execution of statements for example a robo could perform a refresh command on a website and then check if a relevant element was loaded it will continue the refresh check cycle until the element is loaded the key difference between do while and while loop is that for do while the activities contained within it or executed at least once so first in do while the set of activities within the loop will get executed at least once after executing the set of activities it will check for the condition if condition met then again loop repeats if not it will exit do nothing that means the set of conditions will be executed at least once this is an example so there is a scenario where you want to perform the refresh command where when you are trying to search for an element you will be searching for the element until it is loaded we need to refresh the website so refresh needs to be performed at least once in such scenario we are going to use do while next for each loop it performs an activity or a series of activities on each element of an input collection this is very useful in data processing consider an array of integers for each would enable the robot to check whether each numeric item fulfills a certain condition or not do while and while loop will proceed based on the condition whereas for each loop needs an input collection that means a collection of data if a set of series of activities needs to be performed for each element for each data in the input in such scenarios we are going to use for each for example we have set of integers in an array i want to increase the number in the array with some value each number with some value in such scenario i am going to perform some activities on each integer in that array so we are going to use for each for each integer in the array i want to increase plus 1 plus 2 like that so i am going to perform some operation on each of the integer in the array so for each statement is going to be used in such scenarios let us move on to the next one switch case a 
control flow statement that executes a set of activities out of multiple based on the value of a specific expression. We use it instead of an if, if statement when we need at least three potential courses of action. This is done through the condition which is not boolean like in case of if statement but multiple. Straightforward. In case of if statement, we can redirect the flow to two branches. One is then condition and the other one is, I mean to say then branch and the other one is else branch. So if the condition is met, it will go to then, else it will go to another branch. But what if we want to move it to one more branch based on the value output of the condition. Say for example, let me uh, give you a sample. In an array, say suppose I am going to give uh, an input to the bot. If suppose the month is January, it is supposed to go to one branch of set I mean to say set of activities if the month is February it is supposed to execute a set of activities if it is March it is supposed to go to some set of activities in such scenario I cannot go with if condition right because we have more than two branches here so based on the input given bot is supposed to execute the set of activities right so in such scenario we are going to use switch case let us move on to the next one parallel the parallel activity enables you to execute two or more child activity branches at the same time in UiPath Studio, the parallel activity can be found in the activities panel under workflow control parallel. The parallel activity finishes only after all child activities are completed or when its completion condition property evaluates to true. This is as simple as such. So set of activities can be executed in parallel at a time. In such scenarios, we are going to use this parallel. So that's it. So we have different control flow statements. If, few loops, while, do while loop, for each loop, switch, parallel. Let us learn in more, more in detail on these control flow statements with proper practice sessions in coming videos through our channel. Thank you so much for your support to this channel. If you like this video, please share with your friends and colleagues and don't forget to subscribe our channel for our next videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.